What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally, today when it comes to Apple beta software updates, I will be happy to let you know that we now have the ability to be able to install our devices to the latest iOS 16, watchOS 9, and macOS 13. So if those are softwares that you're looking forward to downloading and being able to install, then you found the right video and definitely do subscribe so that you stay up to date with those updates. Now, I'm going to be providing you with links and showing you the best way possible that you can install these updates. I've already covered iOS 16 and on top of this video somewhere, there's going to be a pop-up that will take you to the iOS 16 video. And in this one, I'm specifically going to be focused on watchOS 9 and macOS 13. So speaking of watchOS 9, I would like to bring to you the following steps that might help you be able to update safely and avoid having to, you know, lose your data or getting your device stuck in a boot loop. So the first thing that you'd want to do before updating is to basically make a backup of your Apple Watch. Now, what happens between the Apple Watch and the iPhone is that these systems are systematically backing up. So the Apple Watch backs up to the iPhone that it is connected to as long as there's a stable internet connection. So make sure you have the right Apple Watch selected on your Apple Watch application and then let your iPhone connect to the Wi-Fi for some time and in the background it will basically be backing up the Apple Watch. So that's how you mainly back up your Apple Watch but for you, if you are installing like iOS 16 on your iPhone, then to be safe, since your backup of your Apple Watch is backed up on your iPhone, you know, it will be something that you might want to do just to back up your iPhone so that when you update to iOS 16, then you don't lose the backup of your Apple Watch. So something that you might want to consider just to be safe if you're going to iOS 16 beta as well. So that's the first thing that you want to do for your Apple Watch before going to watchOS 9. And the second thing that I would like to advise you before you update is to make sure you delete the previous watchOS 8 beta. Now, this is very easy to do on the Apple Watch. All you have to do is go into your settings and then go to general and then go to where it says profile and click the remove profile icon and once you do that you can input your passcode and then restart the apple watch i highly do recommend restarting your apple watch so that it's able to restart afresh without the previous betas so if you have watch OS 7 or watch OS 8 betas those only go in the way of you updating to watch OS 9 and that's why i highly recommend that you remove prior betas before installing the watchOS 9 betas. The second or third thing rather that I would like to encourage you to do before updating or installing the profile is to make sure you have enough charge on your Apple Watch. So this is something that uh, will protect your device because if it does run out of juice while it's installing, and then you run the risk of actually having your device stuck in a boot loop. So those are the three steps. And then once you've basically checked off those three steps for your Apple Watch, 